Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. I'm not really around. I'm still uh, at a hotel here for our final day of our vacation. So uh, sorry if the audio is not great. I have no idea. I'm recording it with my phone. Uh, but I had to make this video because we have some interesting things happening in the world of Nintendo, especially when it comes to that direct right we were supposed to get a direct at some point in june and then we got one right we got the xenoblade chronicles 3 direct which was absolutely incredible i somehow live streamed in the middle of the ocean to you guys uh that direct but what's interesting though is that despite that all the people that said we were going to get a direct on the 29th are still saying we're going to get a direct on the 29th so Alana Pierce, uh, you know, Nate Drake, Nate the Hate, and obviously, you know, well, maybe not obviously, because actually one person is backtracking. That person being Tom Henderson, who wrote an article for Video Game Chronicle saying that his sources told him that there would be a direct. And then, I don't know, about 13 hours ago or so at the time of recording, on Twitter he responded to someone and said, are we sure there's a direct in the 29th? I'm hearing there's something then, just not a direct at the moment, which is weird that he's basically just about facing on his own sources, supposedly, when he was claiming that he knew that there was going to be a direct. And now he's like, ah, you know what? Maybe not. There's just going to be something, which we already know what something is going to be on the 29th. We know that Nintendo has their financial briefing that day. So we already know there's going to be Nintendo news that day. Anyways, I already am aware that I have to wake up in the middle of the night to get a video out for you guys on all of that stuff. But yeah, whatever, we do that once, you know, once every three months or so. We, we know how that goes. That's just Nintendo's financial briefing. We update on the Switch sales and how well Switch games are selling and updated projections and all that stuff. But what I find interesting is some stuff that Nate the Hate said, because uh, I'll sort of a lot of peers are saying, hey, that, that Xenoblade Direct had nothing to do uh, with what I heard. Uh, it's that Nate the Hate has been doubling down that there's going to be something. Now, he's gone out on the record to say he doesn't know if it's going to be a general direct. And I want to be clear, he never said it would be a general direct. He doesn't know if it'll be a general direct, a partner direct, or uh, any sort of other uh, possible direct. Maybe a Nintendo Direct Mini. Uh, he does say, hey, you always lean towards general direct until... You know, somebody says otherwise, uh, but right now he just says, hey, it's, an, a direct, uh, it's a direct in some form. But we actually know some news that's going to end up dropping, at least if you're going to believe uh, Nate the Hate here. We, we know some news that's going to be dropping next week with or without a direct, which I find to be really, really fascinating. And that's what something I want to talk about today. Before we get into this, though, I got to remind you, hey, we're on our road to 80,000 subscribers. When we get to 80,000 subscribers, we're giving away literally a full-size replica of the Breath of the Wild Master Sword. We're giving away a replica Hylian Shield and a replica Deku Shield. Uh, I don't know if you're not a Zelda fan, maybe that stuff's not exciting to you, but uh, I don't know. I'm a big Zelda guy, so it felt you know appropriate that, hey, for a major milestone, we do something like that. We'll have even crazier giveaways at 90,000 and 100K. Uh, 100K is going to be a really special occasion that I'm, I, we'll see. I have no idea when that's going to happen. I don't presume we're ever going to get there. Maybe we can hit 80. I mean, let's just let's just work on the little goals first, right? So this I actually got over from on Twitter. Uh, it comes from Leonardo Werner, who added Nate the Hate too, and says, "Does your upcoming prediction video because he has a podcast he does and stuff discuss whether or not you and modern vintage gamer think a Switch Pro announcement is in this direct?" And Nate the Hate responds and says, "We do not discuss hardware outside of the Streamlabs question that specifically asked about the Switch DLSS hardware." And then Luzbell responds and says, "Do you have an opinion?" on this and then quotes tom henderson talking about how uh there's probably not a direct next week and nate the hate says there's a direct next week again not specifying general mini partner etc on june 28th slash june 29th the timing may depend on your region so that's obviously an interesting update because uh, it was like the 29th before and i was 28th 29th which I, I feel like that makes a lot of sense it will be the 29th probably in say japan but maybe the 28th here, 28th lands on a Tuesday in the United States. That's a typical Nintendo Direct day. So that could actually line up really nice and happen before the investors meeting. Uh, Luzbell then responds and says, thanks, Nate. I hope you're right. <laughs> you're welcome, by the way. I know you're not talking about me. Uh, Nintendo silence makes me nervous. I just want a Bayonetta 3 date. Nothing more. Nothing else. People out there screaming Breath of the Wild 2 and Metroid Prime 4. I would just settle with Bayonetta 3. 
I think I'm not being too demanding. Nate the Hate responds and says, Not sure if next week is the right timing for that type of announcement, but we can hope. Then Luzbell responds and says, If it's a general direct, this kind of announcements would be logical, right? I mean, Bayonetta 3, Mario plus Rabbids 2, needs new trailers and dates. And here is the fun bit. Nate the Hate says, The latter will get updates on next week. The former... I'm unsure if we see it in the direct. If the game remains on track for 2022, then expecting an update soon is indeed logical. Uh, So in case you missed it there, he just said, we're getting Mario plus Rapids 2, Sparks of Hope, news next week. I can already see Eric at his parents' house jumping for joy because it is literally his most anticipated game besides Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, In fact, you probably won't even know about this news until I post the video. So that's some pretty big stuff to be going over here. And I I honestly am, I guess, a little bit surprised. Uh, We had rumors in the past that maybe Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope was delayed. Uh, Then we heard from a developer who's like, oh, things are going fine. But developers don't get to really decide if and when games come out. Uh, And obviously, on the point of the entire direct, you know, Nate the Hate, and uh, Alana Peters have been the two people at the forefront of it's happening on June 29th or, you know, 28th, 29th, depending on time zones. Uh, Alana Peters is always traveling everywhere. So, is, uh, you know, so like time zones can, can mess with things a little bit on the exact date of 28th or 29th. But I, I do find it to be really, really interesting that we got a Xenoblade Direct. And I talked about this during the Xenoblade Direct, actually, when after I was uh, reacting to it. I said, you know, I don't know that a Xenoblade Direct necessarily means we can't get another Nintendo Direct this month because, hey, Xenoblade, last time they put it in a general Direct, took up like 15, 20 minutes. And it was sort of a complaint a lot of people had about that Direct was, man, you know, we're spending a long time on one game going really deep into it uh, in an event that's supposed to have a whole bunch of games. It was like half the Direct was dedicated to it. So instead of going that route, doing a dedicated Xenoblade Direct made sense to sort of get it out of the way before you talk about anything else because Xenoblade Chronicles 3 comes out next month, July 29th. Really, really exciting. I I can't wait for that game. But that's the end of next month. We still have, obviously, Fire Emblem Warriors uh, 3 Hopes. That actually dropped today, by the way. And if you use, well, if you live in the United States and you use our affiliate link down below, I would really, really appreciate that. It, it, you can buy it digitally or physically in the United States from Best Buy. And believe it or not, this is, this is the crazy thing. 25.7% of your sale will go to support the channel. Like that, that is one of the highest percentages I've ever seen. Uh, big shout out to Best Buy and and our affiliate link company for a- allowing that to happen. But uh, and I guess if we sell like ten copies, they'll do it again for Xenoblade Three and then do it again for Splatoon Three. So uh, that's wow. Yeah, um, I don't know, man. I, I'm <laughs> just full disclosure. I'll probably use the affiliate code myself just to get Yulia her copy of the game. But look. Setting all that aside, I do think we are going to get a general direct next week uh, or a mini. I I think one of the two. A partner showcase isn't the end of the world. Uh, We we have had some good announcements in partner showcases. Uh, To give just an example of like partner directs and and what we've gotten out of them because people always get, oh, if it's a partner direct, it's not as exciting. Hey, we did get the Cadence of Hyrule DLC announcement in one. We had Shin Megami Tensei 3 HD remaster announced. We've had a new... Um, SMT5 trailer drop. We've had Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory announced. We had Monster Hunter Rise announced. Monster Hunter Stories 2 announced in that. A Hades shadow drop. An Ori and the Will of the Wisp for Switch uh, reveal. We've had a new Bravely Default 2 trailer drop. And No More Heroes 3 trailer. So partner directs do tend to still have some really, really big things in them. And, you know, a partner direct could be something that could have, say, Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope because they are a partner. Uh, and by the way, they also had a Age of Calamity trailer and demo shadow drop from a partner direct. So, look, partner directs aren't necessarily a bad thing. Obviously, a lot of us prefer the general directs because it means we know for sure we're getting a bunch of updates on first party stuff from Nintendo. And to be fair, hey, Bayonetta 3. You can argue that could be in a partner direct, right? Like it's it's made by a partner, but Nintendo owns the game or the rights to the publishing of the game. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the direct's going to be. You know, Nate the Hate's not claiming that he knows what the direct's going to be. He just know there is definitively a direct next week. So call it a rumor, call it what you will, a leak, 
speculation, whatever. It's from a trusted Nintendo insider, and uh, I'm just excited. I mean, the the fact that he at least is stating a singular a singular game in Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope that we are getting news next week. That to me is exciting. I, when I hear news, I'm hearing release date. I'm hearing trailer. I'm I'm hearing new information, new screenshots. I'm oh boy, Sparks of Hope is uh. They might be one of Eric's most anticipated games, but it's also one of mine because I actually beat um, the original Mario plus Rabbids. And uh, <laughs> let me just say, XCOM-style Mario and Rabbids games, they do it for me, man. They do it for me. All right, guys. I'm Nathaniel Rumpeljantz from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And, hey, we'll be back in the studio probably tomorrow afternoon, evening-ish. So uh, we'll see you guys then. Otherwise... Have a good rest of your day.